This is commercial free CNN student news. I'm Carl Azus. It's good to see you this Thursday. First up, an American doctor in Liberia has tested positive for the Ebola virus. Dr. Rick Sacra, a Christian missionary, wasn't treating people with Ebola, but he is in the country that's been hardest hit by the latest Ebola outbreak. And that's one of five things to know about this virus. It's killed thousands in West Africa. Second point, it's a fever. Other symptoms are muscle pain, vomiting, bleeding. It's spread through direct contact with blood and body fluids. Three, there's no cure. About half of those who've gotten it have died. Quick treatment with fluids, vitamins, and medicines seems to help in some cases. Four, there is an experimental drug being used on some victims. Quantities are extremely limited, and its effectiveness isn't proven. Some who've gotten it have survived, some have died. Five. This outbreak, the worst so far, has been largely limited to West Africa. And you're about to see how Ebola has turned parts of Liberia into ghost towns. Half the population here have either died or fled. Many not even stopping to carry their belongings. Why are these houses abandoned? Kazali Johnson told us he lost his eight-month pregnant sister, his brother, niece, and many others. Too many to name. From Zanga, we go further into the jungle, through a quarantine gate into nearby Barcuda. Some 8,000 people live here. No one has been allowed to leave. This community has been completely isolated. Of the over 1,000 deaths from Ebola in Liberia, 20% have died right here in this town. The town chief tells us they're worried if the virus doesn't kill them, yes, really hunger and disease and will. Most important one is this is what it's like a cross loafer, locked in, afraid and alone. Sometimes the county health workers are called in to investigate a case and when they get there, they discover it's actually one of their own. This clinic had to be locked up after all the health workers in it contracted Ebola. Only one of them survived. 